All right. Uh, welcome back. We're doing another episode of um, the Portable Gaming PC Experience. Today we're checking out Beacon Pines. Um, we did have some issues with getting Beacon Pines started. So um, as far as screen resolution on um, this Intel device, we are playing on a 1X player, and that's what the Portable Gaming PC Experience is. We're going to see how it plays on this, and um, I did have an issue uh, first setting it up, so we're gonna I'm going to explain... What happened, and uh, we'll, 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 I'll show you how to fix it before we start playing. So, on here, you click start and you go to video. And if you see resolution unknown and you're getting like a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, you're not going to enjoy the game. And full screen doesn't fix it. Um, so, we could click here between full screen and that. Yep. You can't change the resolution, that's fine. So, we're going to ex exit. Now, in Steam, or if you're playing. Um, you know, however else you get the game. You go to properties, and when in the launch options, you're going to do dash, screen, dash, height, space, your, uh, your, your screen height, and then space, screen, dash, width, I'm sorry, uh, dash, screen, dash, width, and then the, the width of your screen. So for, for me and most people, probably at 1080, 19, 1920 by 1080, you're going to do dash, screen, dash, height, ten, space, 1080, um, dash, screen, dash, width, space 1920 and that forces the screen resolution of the game um, and I had to go to the discord to get their attention to get, to, to get the they did respond pretty quickly um, the devs are there it's day two of it being released so they're probably gonna get a fix a patch out pretty quickly um, and not relying on uh, unity's detection of the game so that being said it was not a great experience to begin with we're going to go get started. It is a, um, I'm going to read to you, before we actually start playing the game, I'm going to read to you what the store page says. Uh, Beacon Pines is a cute and creepy adventure set within a mysterious book. Sneak out late, meet new friends, uncover hidden truths, and collect words that will change the course of fate. Um, so it looks like it's a really cute game. Um, looks like it's kind of, it's RPG-y, and it is very, or it looks like it's going to be kind of, hmm. <laughs> Uh, kind of on rails, but it does say that like it, your choices change the fate of the game. So um, it's 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 very choose your own adventure kind of stuff. We're gonna get into it. It has an introduction, and I'm sure it has a tutorial. We're gonna play through that for the next hour or so, and um, that's what we're gonna do. So here we go. And again, this is this is playing on the One X player, so we're gonna experience what it looks like, what it feels like. Um, there is no changing the the graphic settings and the resolution, so or other than the, the resolution. So if it's um, it should play pretty good. It looks like it's it's pretty simple, simplistic as far as graphics graphically. So. Dear reader, allow me to you introduce to press you the button to my to book. Keep it. Though it might at going. first appear like many books you've come across. It is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. Chapter 1. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pine. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. Left stick moves the creature around the screen. Right stick does nothing. We're going to apparently pick up this shovel. Oh. Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Mm -hmm. 
Rolo finally noticed the tear swelling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. Okay, A jumps. Okie dokie. Um, so now we're just kind of exploring this area, it looks like. Pretty much on rails. Alright, uh... Wonderful! I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. So hang on a second. Somebody's been cutting onions in here. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't I don't know what that does. Rollo looked to the side suspiciously. I guess this is our house. Uh... Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? No. No. There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. Okay, run. No. No. lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly. Okie dokie. One of his father's old stethoscope, Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything. Not for years, though. Uh... Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. Very story-driven. An array of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator, each labeled with the day of the week. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Can we go in there? Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Mm -hmm. 
Luca tossed on his favorite old sweat. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. A little slow Greg's paced. moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Gran's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Okay, so I'm gonna guess Gran is outside in the backyard, right? Oh my! This is quite exciting! I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Step forth, dear reader. Okay. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. So those are our charms, what w words we get to choose, I see. Um... We were just gonna go chill for the day. The best lies are built on truth. to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the chron... So I press Y to open up the chronicle, I guess. The chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point, which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. Interesting. Okay. We were just gonna go hide for the day. Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. All's well that ends well. Young Luca would spend hours hiding in the bushes, waiting for a chance to jump out and startle. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. I mean, I kind of felt that this game would be a little, little bit on rails. A sturdy old wheelbarrow. On rails, and um, you know, being uh, heavily story-driven. Um, so we're gonna go to the welcome sign, I guess. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A town that saw a few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary.
For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered until the foul harvest and his sudden death. In the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. See what's around us. Okay. No, oh, I guess we're just gonna view it. All right, let's. Do it. William Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest. He had become a fixture around town over the past few years. After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Music's good. See that guy? Was that guy up there the whole time? Mayor Augustus Valentine was not busy. Flustered, Gus instinctively loosened his tie. Um, so the question is, do we just keep with the story, or do we try and, and... Okay, yeah, we just gotta keep with this. He pulled a pen from the pocket of his sweater vest and began to frantically jot something down on a clip. stopped scribbling and glanced up from the clipboard. Sinclair continued snoring and lifted one eyelid just enough to see who it was, a tactic he often used to avoid undesirable conversation. Can't do anything else drastically here, it looks like. This sign here.
Whenever Luca saw his dad's chair by the pond, it reminded him of the days they'd pack up a couple of sandwiches and fish until sundown. Luca opened the tackle box and picked the perfect bait. Uh, okay. Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. What fish could resist a nice shoestring? Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. What fish could resist a nice shoestring? <sighs> All right, let's try this again. Luca tied a shoestring <laughs> to the hook. What fish could resist a nice shoestring? Luca gently baited a feather onto the hook. Good for skimming the surface. Okay, we're gonna put another. Luca tied a shoestring to the. What fish could resist a knife? Okay, can we do. Like, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Like, are we gonna find another shoe? Okay, it's the same thing. Got it. Okay. Is that just reliving that memory, I guess? Alright. To the hideout, I guess. The boys had a good thing going. As long as they kept old Jeff happy, they had an endless source of precious materials to add to the treehouse. After around. Luca's father had passed, Rollo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Starscraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rollo's way of keeping him occupied. On certain nights, when the clouds were just right, the boys could tune into strange patterns. Rollo thinks it's aliens. He always thinks it's aliens. Luca's winter coat decommissioned for the summer. With the cold holding out longer than usual, he reconsidered its usefulness. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
dokey. I think we can really go two out of the way. Okay, yeah, there's nothing we can really do. Can't really adventure too much. Pretty, pretty much on rails, I guess. We're going back this way, huh? Character. Oh no, that's okay. That's Rolo. Okay, sure. Um, okay. Definitely getting um, very story heavy. ran the local paper of record, the Beacon Beacon. Charms will change the course of fate. And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Have no fear, we can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? as Roxy took a step toward him. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In the past, he found the best way to deal with en enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. What if we didn't have that one? Answer was just nope. Miss Hatch could often be found near the fountain, too absorbed in a book to be distracted. Okay. I don't. Um.
assume that's the same conversation. Can't go in the coffee house. Okay. I guess we could go to town hall. Could we go into the beacon beacon? No, nope, can't go in there. I presume that this is the way to the warehouse. <clears throat> I don't know. Jeff's hardware closed down about a year ago. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. Okay, library's closed. Gran regretted the second it was made. I mean, I assume it's this way. There was another direction. I'm not sure. A lot of a lot of story. Ah. <laughs> uh. into the wood. We don't want to go to the wood. We want to... Uh, okay. kind of want to figure out where, where are we going. Lucan knew that if he gave up now, he'd never hear the end of it from Rollo. Okay. We're on the right direction, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Through the woods. The path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Luca often asked himself what Rolla would do, so that he could rule out that option. Okay, go around. Uh -huh. Okay, I guess we'll continue around this way, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay, uh, sure. What? Confused. I don't know where to go. Can I jump on here? No. As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. One more to go. The fence's buzzing gave way to silence. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. There was only one way to find out. The hose emitted a subtle sound. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. The water looked almost diseased. It flowed slowly into the woods. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. The sound of footsteps grew louder.
The heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? I probably should have warned you about this. There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy, but don't let that discourage you. We will find the ending that this story deserves. I just know it. From here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Now, let's try something different. Okay, so basically, that was, uh, I, I'm gonna take this as all, um, tutorial, right? So this is like, you figured out how to go through the town, you figured out how to talk to people, you figured out how to use charms, you figured out all this stuff. So this is, um, you know, the inevitable, you're gonna hit this this path either way because you don't have choices here. Um, so the change um, charm is what's here. We can go back, and since now we have that new charm from that end point, we can go back and change the rendezvous with Roxy to add shit um, to change that path. So it, it, um, I'm a little. I'm hoping that the entire game isn't like this for everybody, that or isn't um, that you have to go down every path to finish the story. It'd be nice if this story didn't force every path, but I think that's what is going to make you, or at least most most of the paths. Um, I found uh, in the past he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. So that's how we're going to get back to getting uh, Rolo to come with us. the Valentine fortune, huffed as he brushed off his pants. Solomon trifled a gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Okay, so do we talk to him again? Okay, so uh I 
interesting mm -hmm. armor. Mm -hmm. glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. Alright, um, so we're gonna kind of wrap this up uh, this little bit here and then I'm gonna basically end, this, end, the, end the recording. So, it, it plays pretty good. Um, it's well written, it sounds great um, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it feels good. I, I think I'd like to, to keep playing this on my own and not uh, really be Fully streaming it, and um, because it's, I'm, I'm not reacting to it other than you know wanting to to cry. <laughs> so uh, anytime that it talks about his father, you know his father and mother, that's it's it's tear jerking, and and um, I'd like to, to leave that to, <laughs> to myself. Um. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll finish up this little bit, and uh, you know, in the in the in the video but this this is um you know this this is uh beacon pines it, it looks great look it's a great story um runs great on 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 a portable gaming computer um it probably is going to be you know just as good and it'll probably it wouldn't surprise me if they release it for like android and iphone also because the it's it's there's no real action to it, as far as you know. You explore. You, you can probably tap around and, and do exactly the same things. Uh, controls are great. Uh, a for jump and, and um, basically everything. You have uh, some other but buttons for like the charms and the backpack and and that kind of stuff. So looks looks good. Uh, feels great. So we'll finish up this bit of the story and then we'll we'll end. Um, I don't know how much further we have in this story, but. Uh, Find a, find a spot, and I'll, I'll save it and uh, continue on my own. And uh, at least you have an understanding of the beginning of the story, and you'll have an understanding of how to play and how it feels and all that stuff. I think it's a good, good game uh, for, um, for a portable gaming computer, definitely. So. Mm -hmm. Should I end it here? <laughs> I think it's a perfect spot to just end it. Anyways, yeah. We'll leave it as as this. You can play it for yourself and under figure out what this is. 
And uh, like I said, the, the beginning of this is very, very on rails. Um, it looks like the rest of the story is on rails too. Um, you're probably going to have to explore all of the, all of the tree of, of um, the chronicle, and using all the charms and uh, changing the story so you can hear every outcome. Uh, but it is very choose your own adventure, um, with the exception of it still guides you to get back to. Um, back to finish the entire story so I, th I think it's a good uh, th the sounds are great um, you know the 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 folly uh, the folly sounds the the music's great um, the experience all in general is it's really good it feels good on the on the on the one x player i'm sure it feels great on a, you know um, a steam deck um, yeah uh, nothing nothing um Nothing really to say bad about it, other than you know the whole starting issue with, um, you know, at least on the One X player, it has an Intel graphics. Um, it probably has a hard time with detecting the, the resolutions for that. Uh, your system probably won't have that same problem. So, um, but I did give that instruction of how to fix it, and I, the developers do know that it's there, and um, so that's it. Um, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna stop this stream here. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, if you want to watch me play live, I do play on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Ostergram. You can come watch. I uh, do on Tuesdays and, and Thursdays. I do um, the, my world tour with Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I'm doing um, getting servers ready, uh, getting the server ready for RL Craft with some, some friends of mine. Um, it's a Minecraft modded Minecraft game, and uh, I'm also probably going to continue on with Farthest Frontier. To today and tomorrow, I'm not sure. I'm gonna see see where, where I take this. Um, but yeah, that's that's the story of Beacon Pines. And uh, hope you enjoyed the beginning of this. And uh, you know, if you if you like it, uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you dis dislike it, you can hit the dislike button too. Thumbs down, that's fine. That's what it's there for. And um, yeah. Uh, if you if you like this, if you have a suggestion um, for another game to check out, please let me know. Put it in the comments. I want to check out more games for the for the Steam Deck or for a portable gaming computer, um, and I want to be able to, to review it and, and give, a, give a good impression and all that stuff. So, but as for that, this is the end of this one, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it's, it's it's not a this one's not an expensive game. It was like 19 bucks. I think it's on sale right now. Um, so check it out. I, I liked it. Um, I'm not paid to do this. Do this. I do pick these out on my own, and I I, I um, you know, play them. I'm not. Uh, you know, I might I might accept Steam keys if um, if if developers want me to to do a review of their game. Um, but you know, I'm not I'm not requesting it. I'm not asking it. But there we are. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.